Developing tonight, there is outrage growing after a hateful attack caught on tape. A mother and daughter who are Muslims say they were harassed in West Rogers Park this week. NBC 5's Phil Rogers is live in our newsroom with details. Phil. Yeah, Miriam, by any measure, this is an ugly episode and hard to watch. A verbal and physical barrage from a woman on a north side sidewalk directed at two Muslim American women. It all happened just after daybreak Thursday morning here in the 1600 block of West Howard in Rogers Park. These two women, Suzanne Damra and her mother, Siham Zadam, say they were followed by a woman who hurled anti Islamic insults, then attacked them when they reached their car. The two women say their alleged assailant scratched their car and attempted to pull the mirror off the passenger side door. She kicked my car. She spat in my window. But it was what they say happened with others on the sidewalk, which may have upset them the most. There are these two um, very young young men. I don't think they were older than 21 or 22, and they saw all this and they were laughing. They high-fived her, and one of them was like, "Yeah, they are ISIS." The two women say they are convinced the entire episode is a tragic example of a larger climate of increasing hostility. That's what I got from Donald Intelligent, crazy people. People, they copy what he is saying, and they think, okay, he gonna uh, make you know the white people more powerful, okay? Because of that, the Council on American Islamic Relations here in Chicago says it believes the matter needs a much more aggressive stance from Chicago police. Well, it's very clearly, um, I think, a hate crime. Care spokesman Hoda Katebi argues the incident goes beyond the simple assault, which is how it is currently being investigated. So we've actually seen an increase of Islamophobic attack since the start of the presidential election. The two women say their alleged assailant is well known in the neighborhood and is known to investigators as well. Police confirmed they do have a name and said they are waiting for the women to swear out a complaint. Live in the newsroom, Phil Rogers, NBC5.